at the end of the accounting cycle, all businesses prepare financial statements. Regardless of the type of business, whether merchandising, manufacturers, or service providers, all businesses prepare financial statements in a very similar way. A merchandising business, however, has a few slight differences in its income statement and balance sheet. The balance sheet of a merchandising business expands its assets section to include merchandise inventory, and sometimes estimated returns inventory. Merchandise inventory is the merchandise purchased to be sold to consumers. Estimated returns inventory is the account used to document the return of merchandise for either dissatisfaction or damage. Both merchandise inventory and estimated returns are considered current assets. Depending on how large, or using the technical term material, the estimated returns are, they could either be reported together with the inventory account with the simple note to the financial statements, or they may be reflected as a separate account on the balance sheet. In addition to the inclusion of merchandise inventory, the balance sheet for the merchandising business includes a liability not typical of other businesses, customer refunds payable. Customer refunds payable is the account used to document refund payments to customers as a result of returned or damaged merchandise. Customer refunds payable is a current liability. Merchandising businesses do not use the single step income statement because it does not provide an adequate amount of information and does not comply with GAAP. They use instead a multiple step income statement. A multiple step income statement provides more information for financial statement users on the profits made from the actual merchandise versus the cost of running the business. The first step in preparing a multiple step income statement is to calculate gross profit. To compute gross profit, the cost of merchandise sold is subtracted from revenue derived from the sale of goods to customers. Gross profit shows how much profit was made purely on the merchandise that was sold before we take into account all the operating expenses. The next step in a multiple step income statement is operating income. Gross profit is reduced by operating expenses to arrive at operating income, which is the income earned from normal business operations. To successfully buy and sell merchandise, most merchandising businesses have a support staff and other expenses that are necessary to make their business run. Examples include marketing, sales staff, advertising, purchasing agents, and more. The final step in a multiple step income statement is net income. Operating income is adjusted by other non-operating revenues or expenses that do not directly relate to the business's day-to-day -day operations. Examples include interest expense or interest income, taxes, losses from lawsuits, or gains and losses from the sale of investments. <laughs>